Howdy, folks. Uh, real quickly, I've been uh, messing around with these Sure Let Sure S12 planner drivers. I talked about them a little bit earlier. I'll get a little bit more light. Uh, they were like my base head wreck of uh, for a long time. You know, you had some power and EQ, and these things will rock your face off. As it turns out the driver itself is actually like the entire size of the uh, the shell here. So it's like 14.9 millimeters. And uh, when you crank that thing up, it really, really rocks. But one of the things I wanted to do was actually retune this planner. Um, it just, it wasn't quite right for me. Um, also, this has, you know, the short bores here, which uh, really, uh, my ears really don't like that. They do uh, mid resonances. Uh, so uh, let me just flip over here. All right, um, these are the modifications I did to this. I ripped the uh, bores off, uh, the little, these little grills took them off obviously they don't get messed up if you take them off uh, with like a pin or something and uh, so what I ended up doing was uh, first thing was just so you guys can see this take the uh, grill off and what you end up with is you can see the driver right inside of here cool um, but that also means that it's like kind of line of sight to your eardrum I mean not really but it is there's nothing in the way and the uh, grills aren't dampers or anything Tried dampers, they don't work. Tried a bunch of stuff. Ended up with actually this, which is, uh, this is actually the um, rubber or like silicone insert in an etymotic foam tip, which don't fit me, go figure. But what I did was um, I stuck this in the bore, angled it to the side so that it actually blocks like line of sight to the driver and fires it towards the side. That actually gives us a uh, like a 10, uh, 9 to 10K notch, which I've been talking about for 3D, and also moves the mid peak up uh, where it needs to be, which is um, better. So, like, here's uh, the two graphs. Uh, so, um, the you could call it the stock S12 is like the green graph right here. Uh, it's got psych psychoacoustic smoothing turned on. If I turn that off, basically, this 8K peak is gigantic, and uh, it peaks like, well, not quite right basically for my ears it has uh, I don't know too much of a v-shape or something it just it's too piercy it just doesn't do the trick for my ears at all um, and also probably because right over here I mean these graphs are aligned right around one I think K or something like that but anyways um so you could tell that like the stock s12 in green has a ton more pinna gain and also more treble energy it's got a bigger 8k peak and it also extends uh, further way further whereas actually in the blue uh purple blue i don't know it's, it's a little hard to tell but you know basically it hits again couplers give you an 8k peak there is some extra there but you can kind of imagine it kind of rolling off and then down like that and then we actually do get a 10k notch and then we come up just a little bit here so uh in all honesty this is far better for my ears also um i did have to put a uh, i'll just flip over to this uh this is a 500 value damper over the front uh, bore basically I need more bass on these and um, when you combine the two things which is to say uh, let's see well uh, yeah I'll just do this sorry <laughs> get the picture back out hold on <clears throat> well I don't need it um, yeah this uh, okay so sorry so Right around here, what I actually did was I took a Sony uh, foam, right? Those are in like a bunch of their headphones. You can buy them off Alley, And I cut a little tiny sliver of it. Oh, probably like two millimeters worth and stuck it in here. I probably should have took a picture. But basically, it just goes from here to here. And it's not smashed in there. It just sits in there lightly. And then um, I just stuck the bores back on. Uh, or sorry, the um, little grills. So they're, you know, nice and on there. Nothing's going to screw around. They won't move around. And uh, cool. Yeah, at the end of this, um, this is a pretty nice deep dive into tuning planner drivers. Um, basically, the, I don't know, I think it's probably a lot of the uh, the treble extension, but also just the contrast between, so, you know, sort of the, uh, the bass to mids. Um, it's just really too much um, stock on these and really too much extension and just comes across... Uh, just tilted really towards the high end um, and you might say well you know this uh, I actually had tuned in more pin again a uh, nice little hump in here and it's just too much in this particular headphone I couldn't tell you exactly why but you know end of the day we end up with this guy right here that's uh, my final graph 
Uh, if we look, uh, yeah, the base is actually over the pinna, but not, not a lot. And really, I flattened the hell out of this, so we're going from like... 73 db to like i don't know it peaks around two point something uh 70 sorry what is it 73 to 70 like eight uh, or nine so that that's real nice actually that's a that's a, a mild amount of pin again it shouldn't hurt anyone get a little roll off here a little forgiveness in the four to five k comes back up and then we go down so um, and then we have a real nice amount of bass uh, here, by the way. <laughs> this, sorry, this is 20 hertz right here. It's hard to see that, but uh, if I, yeah, that that's uh, 20. I just, uh, actually, this um, right here is from 10 to 20, sorry. But uh, in other words, this this driver extends really, really low. So that's kind of like uh, the, here, let me uh, zoom in just a little bit, give it a little more contrast. That's probably too much. And uh, yeah, that's what we end up with. Uh, sounds absolutely phenomenal. I don't know if anyone will be able to do this uh, or if they care, but um, yeah, for me, this uh, really made these in my uh, my top echelon of uh, headphones. And um, I'll do a review. Uh, be honest with you, I didn't do a review. I sent these around to my friends uh, because actually in stock format, they're just way, way, way too triple heavy. I can't stand them. Uh, and these these simple little modifications did the trick for me. I think the, the Sony Foam actually has a special thing where it absorbs high-end like a uh, treble um, really the high stuff that tends to pierce my ears as the sound pressure level goes up which is uh, really really neat so you know it's like medium levels it, it gives you the treble and then you turn up and it doesn't give you too much treble it gives you like a, a nice amount so anyway final uh, we'll call this the um, I don't know what do we call this the uh, S12 SB short bus. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I was thinking sure might be coming out with a new version of this, but I don't think so. Um, it's it's like an S13, or, yeah, S13, but it's a dynamic driver, so not this. So, yeah, this is my best uh, best effort at doing a planner driver um, tuning, and uh, really really sounds awesome. And I could recommend this any day of the week to anybody for any kind of genre of music, which is really cool for a planner. And, uh, you know, overall, it has a really nice organic open tonality, as you would expect. It's got all the planner mojo. But what it doesn't have is any kind of, um, you know, off effects, like the sort of the uh, metallic timbre that uh, the planners can have. They could have peaks and weird valleys that just don't make sense. And you know, I, somehow I fixed them. Just, you know, trial and error, really. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Right on, folks. I'll talk to you, actually. I'll do the, an actual review on these. It's not going to be good. I'm sorry. Sure. Let sure. It's just not. I mean, the tuning sucks on these. Uh, the driver's awesome, but the tuning is just not okay for... It's probably like... I could play like maybe 20, 30% of my library, and the rest is a fail on, on the stock format of these. So, eh. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, if anybody uh, wants any more information, I'll try and uh, respond to comments and... Um, you know, give any extra information people might need. Because honestly, um, this for the money, for like 100, I don't know what the hell, 60 bucks, you know, uh, if you have to buy a set of uh, Edomotic, the foam tips to get those inserts, that's another maybe 20. But like, and then these little foam things are like a penny or two, you know, get them off alley, no big deal. Uh, the, uh, the dampers, uh, these are 500 values. But the point of that is that, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to spend, I don't know, maybe like 200 bucks, you know, you get something in the, uh, performance area of um it's up there man it's got to be like 700 you know 600 dollars maybe 500 depending on your preferences in terms of that stuff but uh staging is huge wide viscerally huge um they're exciting sounding um they probably match you know thousand dollar multi uh balanced armature sets in a lot of the mojo factors and i think at this point they actually uh, outdo them in, in in some things um you know if i had to say like that graph is a little messy, you know, a little bit, not a lot. That that peak shouldn't be there if it was a mess. The 8K, but is what it is. But you know, it's like for that money, that's uh, maybe worth uh, messing with for folks. Okay, right on. Talk to you on the next one.